preparing for success in 2023 if myself simon klein for those of you who are in the chat area okay we're live <laughs> hello and welcome to preparing for success in 2023 you have myself simon klein for those of you who are here live in the chat area just let me know that you can hear me and see the screen as we wait for everyone to come in okay Excellent. Hi, everybody. If you want to chat, type in the chat area where you're, where you're from and maybe how many years you've been trading. That will be great. For those of you who are here live, welcome. For those of you who are watching the replay later on, hope you enjoy this presentation and it helps you get set up for 2023. Hey, Joe, that's good. Excellent. You see the screen as well. Hey, Knut. Great to have you. Excellent. Okay, so let's begin. Preparing for success in 2023. So before we begin, just a quick disclaimer. Everyone knows trading has a risk to it. And everything I mentioned on this presentation is for educational purposes only, even though what you may hear during this presentation are trades that are setting up right now and for the upcoming year and they may be very big trades as well so what i want you to do now if you're here live focus turn off distractions don't multitask just be a hundred percent on what i'm going to share with you and you'll get the most out of it so you are in the right place if you are not satisfied with your results in 2022 so far we've still got a little bit more time left you're looking for new opportunities setting up in 2023. I wrote a book called One Step Ahead. You want to be one step ahead of the market. So you want to be ready and waiting for the market to set up and you know exactly what you're waiting for. And then you can strike. You want to feel prepared for 2023. Okay, very important. Preparation equals confidence, as we say many times. If you're not prepared, you cannot be confident. So you should be starting to prepare for 2023 right now. And you want to get your questions answered today. For those of you who are here live, we're going to take questions and answers at the end. You can ask me anything about trading that you like. So here's what's in store for you. What we're going to do is we're going to look at what happened in 2022. And we're going to see what we can learn from it. Then we're going to start looking for opportunities that are left in 2022 towards the end of this year. Then we're going to start revealing some of the opportunities setting up, some of the big potential opportunities that may be setting up in 2023 so you can be ready and waiting for them. And we're going to share with you how to prepare for 2023, what you need. So let's begin. For those of you who are new, this is me speaking at the Traders Expo in New York, and I was invited to speak along with finance ministers and other professional traders at the Bogu Investment Forum in China. Here's a little bit about, uh, more about me, and you can read that. I've been trading professionally for over 15 years, and I started my professional life at Credit Suisse in London and also in New York after that and then back into back to London again. TradeSmart is a trading education business, and we focus on teaching you how to read the market professionally and how to run a successful trading business, including how to develop your own trading plan and strategies which fit your personality and lifestyle. So let's begin. Now, before we look at charts, you need to have some way in which to analyze the charts. Now, this is gonna be our approach, and this has been my approach for well over a decade now. And this is what I teach all my traders. So our view on the market is to look as a three-prong approach using multiple time frames as well, okay? So you need to look at what's happening on the time frame you're looking at, and then a time frame above, and maybe one above that, and maybe one below. So you get a different view when you zoom in and zoom out. So our first approach 
to reading the market is what we call pivot analysis. Now, that is how we read the trend. Okay, we're always going to know what trend the market is in. So we're going to look at that. And more importantly, when the trend changes. And I'm going to share with you at the end of this presentation how you can do that training so that you can learn exactly how to do that and understand what's going on with the trend before anyone else knows what's going on. Because we do it slightly differently to maybe conventional, what you may read in, the, in a textbook. This is not going to be in a textbook. So pivot analysis is our way of reading the trend. And basically, this training that I'm sharing with you and what we're going to be using here is based on many years of doing this and seeing what works and what doesn't work and, under, and understanding by looking at the market, you know, why the market's doing what it's doing. I always ask the question, if that trade didn't work, why didn't it work? What can I do better next time? So take 15, 16, 17 years of that, you learn something and then pass that knowledge on to other people. So instead of you sitting and trading the market for 15, 16, 17 years, and by trial and error coming up maybe with the same conclusions, you can piggyback off the work that I've done and start at that point. It will save you a lot of time and a lot of effort. You'll still need to put some effort in to understand this and to, and to put it into practice yourself. Remember, knowledge without any action is not going to get you very far. So you need to learn something and put it into action. Some of my best students are the ones that learn this and immediately put it into action in the markets and learn from it and improve on a consistent basis. So pivot analysis is a way of viewing the trend. So we always know what trend we're in. And sometimes we're in a trendless market. Then we look at supply and demand. We need to know where supply and demand is in the market. Now, supply and demand are those turning points in the market that you can see in the chart here. Why did the market turn up here or turn down from here? And we're going to jump into the charts, into the live market very shortly. And we're going to look at many examples of this. So supply and demand is where you are. You need to know, know where you are location-wise, much like if you go on a journey, yeah? Do you, are you at your destination yet, or is there still more journey to go? Do you get off the stop now when you're on a train, or do you wait? You need to know what your destination is before you get on the train. You need to know what your destination is before you get into a trade so that you can manage your risk, okay? That's the second thing we need to know, supply and demand. And supply and demand is what moves every single market in the world, supply and demand, imbalances, okay? Now, price direction is a way of viewing price. So we always know which direction price is going. And isn't it a good idea to know, is price going up or is price going down? And within seconds, once you learn how to do this, within seconds, you can look at any chart and know what the direction is, up or down. Now, Imagine how powerful this is. We're going we're gonna to look into the market soon. I'm going to show you some examples of what happened this year and what could be setting up for 2023. So this is a three-prong approach to the market. No indicators needed at all based solely on price action, which is our, the, the Japanese candlestick charts. Maybe that's our only view on price is using Japanese candlesticks. And we do this on multiple time frames. For example, why is that so important? Because if you're in an uptrend on the hourly chart, for example, and you just had a pullback to demand on the hourly chart and a price direction change to the upside, but you're coming up to a daily supply area, well, the trend may come to an end. You've got to know how far you can go still. You may not see that on an hourly chart. You need to look up to a daily chart, for example. And this is a beautiful thing. If you read down here, the charts will teach you all you need to know. Once you have a framework for reading them, you will be able to look at the charts with that framework and understand what's going on. I can look at any chart now and I can explain what's going on and why in terms of price pivot analysis, supply and demand analysis, and price direction analysis. I don't need anything else. I can explain any chart and understand what's going on in a very short amount of time. I'll give you an example how, how time can, you know, how you can save time as you become more skilled at doing this. It used to take me on a Sunday about four to six hours to prepare for the upcoming week. Now I can do it in less than an hour. And most of my traders can do it in less than an hour now as well, because we have a session that we do 
every Sunday, our weekly preparation session where I take everyone through exactly what I do to prepare for the upcoming week. So this is the most important thing here. No gurus needed. I'm not a guru, but I can give you the tools you need so that you can develop yourself as a trader. That's the important thing. Not just giving you trading ideas to spoon feed you without you understanding why they should work. You're, if you go through the training and you look at the charts, you'll be able to see it for yourself because you have a way of grasping what's going on in terms of this three-pronged approach to analysis. Remember, if you take a, you know, if you take a chair, for example, and you stick one, one leg underneath, it will wobble over. If you put two legs underneath it, it still wobble over. Three, it becomes stable. If you put three legs underneath the chair, that's where it becomes stable. Again, each of these alone is enough to make consistent profits in the market if you apply it correctly. Put the three together, it becomes super powerful. On a backdrop of multiple time frame analysis, you will know where the market is, what's likely to happen next, and you'll know what to wait for. So that's the key, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look back at 2022 so far. And then we're gonna take a look forward to 2023. Now, this is the most important thing to understand. In order to move forward to your future, you need to know where you're coming from and you need to know where you're going to, okay? It's always important to know and you need to know where you are as well. So that applies to everything in life. In order to succeed in life, you need to know where you are. You need to locate yourself. So when looking at charts, you need to know where price is right now. Where was it in the past and where could it go in the future? And what are the odds with your own life? And this is very important for what we're gonna talk about later. You need to know where have you been with your trading so far? What's worked for you and what hasn't worked for you? Where are you right now? You need to know that because you can't go forward if you don't know where you are right now. I worked as an undergraduate in University College London. On, I was an undergraduate in computer science and I did my final year um, kind of dissertation project in neuroscience in we, we worked with a joint project with NASA to put mobile robots in outer space. This was in, in the year, this was in 1995 to 1996, long time ago. And I built a model of a neural network that modeled the hippocampus of the brain to, lo to solve one problem is when you put a mobile robot somewhere in space or in a room, it needed to know which room is it in and what's it lo what location is it in the room. And what we did, what I did was model the way the hippocampus, the way what we call play cells in the hippocampus work. So that's what I did as an undergraduate. My supervisor's supervisor for his peer, for, for, um, got a Nobel Prize for his contribution to neuroscience for discovering play cells. His name, you can look him up on, uh, if you want, on the internet, called John O'Keefe. He got a Nobel Prize for his, again, for discovering play cells. I modeled those play cells. I worked with one of his students, his peer, one of his um, um, students, who was my mentor for my project, for what I did. And again, you know, it was a very exciting time. So the important thing is to solve the navigation problem is in order to know where you're going to go, you need to know where you are. You need to locate yourself. So again, very important. Be situational awareness as a trader is very important. And it's very important for yourself in life and for your personal development. Remember, for those of you who are new to trading, when I first started, it, it, it's like people say, you know, it's, it, you're going to be working on yourself. You're going to be becoming the best version of yourself. It's a, a um, job of, that requires peak performance. And yes, it may sound strange, and it did to me at the beginning, but that's what it is. If you become a better person, you'll become a better trader. And guess what? If you become a better trader, you'll become a better person as well because you have to become the best version of yourself to succeed as trading. So this is important from yourself, from personal development perspective, and 
from a trading perspective and from looking at the charts. Everything is important to move forward, to make progress. You need to know where you are. You need to know where you've been and you need to know where you're going and how to get there. So this is what we need to do. We get, so we're going to go over for preparing how I'm going to go through this afterwards. So let's jump into the charts. Let's go back. Let's jump into the charts now. OK, everyone ready? Just type in the chat area. Those of you here live, if you're ready to jump into the charts and we're going to pick them up. And what we're going to do is we're going to look over um, what's happened. And what I'm going to do is start with the US dollar. This is dollar index. OK, everyone ready? Nick saying agree. OK. So. Maybe, maybe I will, maybe I'm going to, let me undo the chat. Let me see if I can do that one second. I didn't want, I'm making it all, so all, everything you type now, everyone will see. Up to now, you've, it's been privatized. So I wanted to do that so you can type everything you type, everyone will see now, okay? Now, I like the comments so far, um, so that's great. Okay, Andy says, yes, that's good. Okay, so let's have a look at the charts here. And we're going to be working on the bigger time frames again. It doesn't matter. It's fractals. OK, so if we go back in time to the beginning of this year, this is the beginning of 2022. This is where we were. OK, and look what the market has done. Now, let's go through the three things that we look at. This was the bottom of the market that happened the previous year. And this I called out in, in um, China, actually. In the presentation I did, I said, if the market pivots here, which it did, and this was the end of February, then this is likely the bottom of the market. Because if you look here, this is a base. This is the top of the base. This is the bottom of the base. And it was confirmed here by the trend and a price direction change to the upside. So over here, we broke the down move. This is a downward moving market to the bottom of the base. And then we turned to the upside. And we have been pointing up direction wise, dollar wise until still now. And that may change at the end of this month going into December. So direction wise, the dollar has just gone straight up. And let's have a look at where we are. Now, let's look left. If you look left to where we are, we're in this area. Now, this could be a move down. So what's happened so far in 2020, the dollar has gone straight up. Pretty much. We've had one month down here and we had a month down here, which is kind of up and down, but still towards the high. And this may be our first down month. Um, down month that may change something here. That may change direct. A first down month that may change what I call price direction if this month closes here. Now, we're still at the beginning of the month, the first, you know, part of the month. So it's going to be interesting to see. So this was the bottom of the market. If you would have known that, and I called this at the beginning of, of 2021, and I said, we're likely going to continue up to the 100 area. And if we break the area, which we did here, we're going to continue moving to the upside. And notice we pulled back here. This was a supply area. We pulled back here. This was the level. You see, there's a tail here. and We came down. Yeah because of this area, and then we broke it. So two th one of two things are going to happen now. Either we're going to turn down and we're going to keep going all the way back down, or we're going to turn down and bounce and take out the highs and go up to where? To this next level. We know ahead of time this is supply. This is supply that may become demand. This is demand now below that was potentially supply, but now it's demand and down here demand. So we can see the levels in the market on the bigger time frames. Does that make sense to everyone? Just type a yes in the chat area if you understand what I'm talking about here. Now, why is this so important? Because this is what's important. What has happened, if we go back, let's just go back in time here. This is the weekly chart. And the weekly chart's been an uptrend. Watch this. Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Higher high, higher low, higher high. Now, let me show you what's happening here. Higher low, correct? Now, watch what happens. We haven't got a lower high yet, but we've got a lower low and direction down. We have now broken the way we define trend, the uptrend. We're no longer in an uptrend anymore on the weekly chart. We bounced back last week, hit. Look where we hit. 
exactly this area. And then we come back down to this area, which is demand. And now we're bouncing again. This is what's happening this week. This is why we're in a very interesting market. We go down to the daily chart. Look where we went from. Demand marked out to supply. Big reversal candle here. So we continue down to where exactly. Look at this. Can you get more exact than this for where it goes down to? This was yesterday's trade to continue to trade the move up to sell it down to here. Today's trade was to be on the buy side. Why? Because you're in demand. We said we're going to bounce. Now let's go down. If we look from a day perspective, this is what happened today. This was London session. We pushed up, hit this area, which gives you a pullback. And this is how we opened the US session with a higher low. We made a higher high higher low. So we pushed up. Look what happened when we hit supply. We came all the way back down again, but came back up and pulled back. And now we're holding up here. So again, this is a lower time frame perspective on a daily perspective of how to trade on the day. But we're talking about bigger picture now. We're talking about what's happening here. So the uptrend is broken on the weekly chart. We're down in demand levels. So we may bounce. And it depends how far we go, what's going to likely happen next. In trading, you never know what the market is going to do. The only thing you and you have no control over what the market is going to do. But what we do have control over is what we are going to do if the market does something. So what you need to say, and again, you guys should write this down because this helps you big time. It's not about, you know, it's not about. Um, predicting the market, even though we can do that pretty accurately. What you need to do is ask yourself, if the market does something, does A, then X is likely to happen. And if the market does B, then Y is likely to happen. And wait for one of those two things to happen. And then you know what the market is likely to do next. You don't know ahead of time, but you wait for the market to show you what it's going to do. And then you know its next move or what the odds are. It doesn't work every time, but it will work most of the time. We're pretty accurate on our predictions. I think we get it right over 90% of the time on direction, on what's happening. And again, you can come and join us and you'll see for yourself. Okay, I don't, you know. I, I can show you trades that we've taken or you can come and watch us do this live on a daily basis and you'll see us ahead of time. Now, just want to show you a trade that we looked at today. OK, as this was happening. Now, this is a base. OK, just to show you what's happening here. This is a base. Now, what happened? You can see this is top. This is the bottom. And again, this can happen on every time frame. We chimed in on it at the market open at 8 a.m. Eastern time was when this bar closed. And we said, the market is likely to break if it closes here and pivots here. Yeah, the market's likely to go up to this level. That's the next level up. What happened next? The market went straight up. That was our trade. That's a day trade, okay? There's your risk. There's your reward, at least a three to one. Okay, does that make sense? I don't know it's going to do that, but you wait for something to happen. Does that make sense? I don't know what I don't do anything here. Oh, I could sell up here and buy back there. It's basic. OK, basing down here, buy, sell up here. But what happens now is this is what we said as it was forming in our trading room. And again, if you come and join us today, you can go and watch the live video as this was happening from today. Each session is recorded in the trading room. Go and watch it. Come and join us. Go and watch the video and you'll see for yourself as it's happening, not after the fact before it happens. So we said, if it pivots here, then most likely, and it did, we're going to be on the buy side. We know our direction. We know our target. We know what our risk is. And this is what we can do on every time. This is the hourly time frame, which is your tr day trading bigger picture. And then you drop down to a lower time frame for entry if you need. So this is what happened immediately. Not even a slight move down, up for one hour, straight to the target. Our target was actually slightly lower, was the lower line here, but it went higher. And then what happened? You see, it went slightly higher. Yeah, this is running on the stops here and then comes all the way back down to this level. And then look what's happening. It's holding, turning and next move might be to the next level and then the next level once you know where they are. 
Does that make sense, everyone? And for those of you watching the replay, does that make sense? Why does that make sense? Well, guess what? Where are we on the dollar yet? This is, look at where we are. We just went above a major supply area. So supply may become demand. We may hold. And if we continue moving up, where's our next level? Up here. This is the next level up. That's where we're likely going next if we hold this level. So again, we can do this on every single time. This is on the monthly chart. Okay. Now, what happened on the dollar yen? And we can look at the yen from the beginning of the year. Yeah, this is 2022. If we look at trend, we're moving up. We've got higher low, higher high. We base a bit, which, yeah. And once we go above here or we hold this area, it's a long. And direction is being going up the whole year been gone straight up we've had a couple of downish months but ultimately this is the moves that you want to catch at the beginning of the year or in the first few months of the year and hold them when you get a year that does this not every year does this but this was the year that did this year on the dollar went straight and literally as we go back to the dollar again dollar went straight up for the year OK, so we've talked about what could happen over here. If we don't go back up to the highs and we pull back down here and we go lower, then likely the move up will be sold. And this may end up being the top of the dollar. For the next year. Or we're going to hold this level and move up here and then we'll have to see what happens when we get there. That. that makes sense, everyone. So this is how we look at the market. We wait for something to happen and then we know what we're going to do. OK. Right, let's move on to some other markets. Let's move on to gold. We're going to go on the bigger time frames here as well. So again, this a number of years ago, we've caught all these moves. This move we caught, we caught this move, we caught this move. But let's go back to the beginning of this year. So the beginning of this year, the market was kind of choppy. But direction was to the upside here and into the beginning of the year, we had a pullback that held. So it's a buy up to the supply area here, to the highs. Once we came up to here, the market turned to the downside and it's been short the whole year until now. Why? Look left. We're now into a demand area here. I've marked the lower area, but it's also this, this whole bar could be, which is why we stopped here. You see that? Here, here, and here. If you look across, one, two, three, we broke through. But this is all demand below, and we're moving up. So, so what could happen to gold in the upcoming year? If we break above this area, we're going back up here again. But we could potentially turn and end up down here. Okay? And again, most of this move we caught. Now, let's have a look. If we go down to a weekly chart, how do you catch this? Well, when it goes up and fails to take out this high, we go down, we're on the short side. Every time it goes up, sell. Every time it goes up, sell, until we get to here. Now we had a structure here, once you know how to read, this is demand. We're in demand here, this level. And we have a failure to follow through to the downside and a move up. Now, again, we could end up going sideways here, but if we break this area, we're going to get up to here and potentially here, probably this level. So that could be, and if we don't, then we're going down lower, we end up down here. This could be a move up and down. That's why we have a zone here. We have to watch this area. Okay. Does that make sense? So this is what's happened in the year. We've had a beautiful down, and we called this pretty much whole move, massive move in gold. We said be on the short side until down. We said around sixteen, um, around sixteen hundred. And if you look about where it went, not far off. The low here was around sixteen. Um, let's have a look. If you look at the low here, sixteen eighteen. We said sixteen hundred. That's pretty good considering we're calling this around the two thousand area. OK, these are big moves, ones that you can get in and hold for big, big trades. OK, you can day trade if you like. You can swing trade. These are big moves that happen at the beginning of of the year, not every year, that sometimes you want to buy and hold and just get in. If you get in at the high, say you got in, say you managed to get in, say, say you got in here at this price at 19, at 1978. Say you got in on the move up here on a smaller time frame. 
it never went anywhere near. So, okay, you're down here profitable. It comes up. You can add to the trade here. Goes down. You may take some out, add back in, or just keep the whole thing until here. Now you might want to want to take some profit out here. Okay, just a, a, a couple of ideas. Okay, let's move on to oil, another big one. Okay, what's happening with oil? Well, here we can again speak in a very clear way, understanding what's going on. Oil put a bottom here. This is the bottom of oil on the monthly chart. And at the beginning of the year, you can see we pivoted here and we started. Yeah, you can anticipate this with a move to the upside. And we went straight up, hit the highs, came down and failed to make a new high. We call the top of oil here in this area. And you can see it on this smaller time frame. Again, the same thing, the failure to take out the highs and the move down. And watch what happens here. If you understand how to read trend, this is a lower high and direction down. We're on the downside now, okay? Now, this last week, last week was a long up to here. We did make a higher high, but we're not able to get across this area. Look what's happening this week, we're going down again. This is giving you a, a, um, a sign. We've broken the trend here on the on the on the daily chart, this was an upward moving market and we didn't get over this area. So the market's on the downside and look how accurate we are. Look at this as a supply level. We go down to smaller time frames. Look at what happened here. So what are we doing? You know, this week is short, 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 short. Yeah. And if you got in at the beginning of the week, as it hit this area and turned, yeah, you could have played long up here, but up here, if it doesn't break the area, short. And if you're still holding, well, you could hold to the, probably the end of the week. We've still got more, more downside to go. See that? Now, I'm not saying it won't go up, but if it, it, it failed this area. So bigger picture, what's happening with oil? Well, oil is not in an uptrend anymore. We came down to demand areas, it bounced. And what I told my traders in the room is the bounce is not going to take out the highs. It's probably going to bounce and go lower. So that's what we, we have to go with the trend. The trend is not up anymore. This is not, this was up. This was the end of the up. This is a move down to demand and a bounce to go lower and downward moving markets. Or if we're not in an upward moving market, every time it hits demand, listen to this carefully, you usually get a bounce, it moves up. You could buy it on a smaller time frame, and then we go lower. So if we don't, if we don't manage to get back up to these highs, then we're going to turn and pivot and we're going to probably break this level and go down. OK. If we do go up to here, what's likely to happen in, the, in 2023 is we may pull back, hold and then go higher. But at the moment, as you can see, this is failing. Oil's going to the downside. Now, let's have a look at a few other markets. Another very interesting market, and we call this as well, we said Bitcoin down to 20,000 at the beginning of this year. Now, let's have a look and see what happened. This is beginning of 2022. OK, look what happens here. We go back. If we can go back, we can't. I can't cycle back. We put in a high. OK, and the market topped out. We came all the way down here. What we said in our trading room here is. The bounce is not likely to take out the high. Wait for it to pivot and then go on the short side. Here was a short. It's set up here on the monthly chart over here. So on this month, you're thinking short and you could have gotten in around 40,000. Yeah, 40,000. We said targets down here, 30,000 and 20,000. And if it continues on, 15,000 and down here, which is where it's on its way to. Okay, again. It bounced at the big, it went at the beginning of the year, it went down and bounced. We could have played the bounce here, but don't expect it to take out the high. You have to understand how to read this. This is what happens most of the time. Did we get down close to 15,000? Steve, you can type it in the room. Steve is one of my clients, is one of my traders, is in the trading room every single day, and he's gone through the training that I'm going to share with you. We said 15,000. Where did it go today? 15,850. It hit the 15,000 range. OK, still got $850 to go, but 15,000, it's gone down to the next level down. Look, and it's actually broken below that level. It's gone slightly below. Look at this move. And we said 
if we base and go up and we come back into this base, we're going to go to the downside. That's exactly what happened. And you can see we're still moving down. So in the in 2000 and well, 2000, wait, 2023, 2023, what's going to likely happen? Well, we're probably we may even get there this year. We may go back down to 10,000. If we don't hold this level, we're going to see Bitcoin back down at 5,000. We need we're in a downward moving market now. If you understand how to read the trend, this is a lower high. This is a lower low. This is a lower high. This is a lower low. We're in a downtrend. So moves up are sellable if they don't break above supply. And we haven't yet done that on this time frame. So we're going down to the next demand level. Why did we stop here? What's so important about here? Well, go left. This is where the contract opened. Put a line across. That's why we stopped here. Around, and we hovered around this area because that's where this Bitcoin futures, where we opened a number of years ago. And this was the bottom, by the way. We called the bottom. We called the pullback. We called this one. We got this move. We got this move. And we've got every single move down as well. Once you understand what you're looking at here, you can read the market. And then you go down onto the smaller time frames and you can see how this works. So this is a move up to supply. You can see this. And boom, today, this week, down. Market says down. You're basing close, close to the lows. You're going down. How did we know it was a market top? This is the market top. Once this bar went below here, that's the top. Moves up a sellable now. So imagine this was the end of last year. Imagine if you would have seen this. What are you thinking to do towards the end of 2021 into 2022? You're thinking, sure. Imagine if you're buying up there. And I know some people did. Imagine if you bought up here towards the end of the year when everyone was saying Bitcoin's going to 200,000, 100,000. You're on the wrong side of the market. So to be a successful trader, you've got to make sure you're on the right side of the market. And you need a lot of other things as well. But stage one, read the market. Now, let's go through one more and then um, let's have a look. Let's look at, did we look at the E-minis? Yeah, let's look at the E-minis now. Of you on the S&P 500. And again, very, very important to understand what's going on. And I picked these markets strategically. Yeah. And this is what the markets that we look at, we've kind of frozen. Oh, here we go. Now, what's so important about these markets? You need to know where money is going. Money doesn't disappear. It moves from one place to another. Apart from when you have, uh, you know, when, the, when, the, when they print dollars and then you get inflation. But generally, you know, money moves from one hand to another, from one place to another. It moves around. Yeah. If it's coming out of one asset class, it's going somewhere else. It doesn't disappear into thin air. So what's happening with the market here? And we said today, watch this move up for a sell today. And again, Steve, you can tell this is what we said in our trading room. Go and watch the recording. Come and join us. Watch the recording from today. It's about an hour long. And you will see ahead of time as it as it's setting up what we're looking for. Before this market plays out, the odds are the market's going down today. Is it going down? Yes. Down. Did it go up a little bit? Yeah, a little bit of a tail here on today. But today you want to be on the sell side. OK, it's a, it's simple. These past few days on the long side. And this one was a tricky one. Yesterday was a tricky one. Look at the trickiness up and down. You get when you get to a place where the market could go up or could continue up or could go down. You get choppy. You get whippy markets. But now it's clear the market's going down. Why is that? Because if you understand how to read what's going on here, this move down broke below this area. So this move up is sellable. And there's a bit of a problem here because we went above an area here. So this move down could be viable, which is why we got to move up. But if we look at the bigger picture and this we pulled, we, we called the market spot on at the beginning of the year. Let's have a look at what happens. How do we know? Let's go back to the beginning of the year step by step. This is the beginning of the year. This is this is 2021 into the new year, 2022. January starts with this. I'm saying now when I see this, this is the market top. And I see it on the on the, before that happens on the on the month on the weekly chart. OK, that's the market top unless I said unless we take out the high. Not likely. So let's see what happens next. Market goes down. 
What am I thinking to do here? Yeah, well, I'm in supply. This is a supply area. I'm not in an uptrend anymore. I just broke the, the biggest uptrend in the history of the market, in the history of the S&P 500. This is the biggest uptrend. This was one of the biggest crashes, the COVID crash. It started in, in February and March of 2020. And we had the biggest rally in the history of the market. But what happened here? That is the market. Once you recognize this, this is the market top. So what are you thinking to do here? One, one, some of my traders, are, uh, um, some of them are in other trading rooms and they were saying, buy, buy. And I'm like, definitely a sell, definitely a sell. Can't say it, can't scream it louder. I screamed it in my trading room. It's a sell. Why? Because we broke the uptrend after the biggest uptrend in the history of the market. And we're in supply. What do you do when you break a trend and you're in supply again for the first time? You've moved back up. You've got the best reward to risk to short the trade, to short it. You should be thinking sell. You've got time in the market. It doesn't just go straight down. Sometimes it does like this when you have, um, you know, extreme events. But here you've got time. It didn't go straight down. It came back up. It gave you a chance to get in. You're getting out of your stock positions here and going into cash or moving it into what? Into the dollar. You're going out of the E-minis, moving into the dollar. What do you think? Why, why do you think the dollar went up? People are selling this, then they, they need, you know, they're getting cash back. Yeah. So there's a demand for cash. So what happened here? Market went up. What, what happened in the next month? Boom. The biggest down month of the year so far. And what happens the next month? We go down. But guess what? We go back up again because we hit demand. Remember, we're not in an upward moving market. When we move down, we go up to demand. We push up, push up and go lower. What happened next? We go lower. Another big month down. Where are we going to? Well, let's have a look, see where the market went. Now we're going up again, this area. But what are we doing? Are we buying this? Well, you can buy this month. But what are we expecting now? We're expecting it to move up and go lower. That's what it did. Now, what's happening this month? This month, we're moving up and going lower until we don't. You see, see what's happening here? We're not an upward moving market. It's a downward moving market. Every time we move up, we go lower until we don't. So it's no surprise that when we move up on a smaller time frame to an area that we know as supply, we go down. We move up, we go down, move up, we go down. This is not an upward moving market until it becomes an upward moving market. This was an upward moving market until it changed. Where did it change? On the first month of the year in January. I know I'm thinking short. Does that make sense, everyone? So this is how you start to read the market. This is how you do it. And you can do the same every single time and be spot on most of the time once you know how to do this. You don't have to be a rocket scientist for this, even though I work with NASA. You don't need super brains for this. You just need to be able to read a chart. And it's simple. You can teach children how to do this. We have children. Young children knowing how to do this, they see what's happening. They say it's on the, so get the direction right and then look for trades on the smaller time frame. Today is a sell day. So you want to be looking on the sell side. Okay. And we can look at the NASDAQ as well. It's probably doing something similar. Also, move down, had to move up, but to go lower. We expect if it's going to not go, if it's going to hit, do this, we're going to go below here. And continue down. Downward moving market, bigger picture. Where are we going next, possibly in the new year? Well, this year we've gone all down. We've bounced from demand areas, you see? Bounced and gone lower. Notice we've already gone below this area. So if we don't hold here and push up and go above this area, we're going down here. That's probably what's going to happen in 2023. If we don't move up and break this area, we're going down here. We've already gone below here. Yeah, but this could end up being an area we could push up here, pull back, hold and go higher. That would be a clue that we're going up again. But this again on this market, once we went the first month of the year, you're thinking short for the year. And imagine if you would have done that at the beginning of the year. Now, it's a shame that some of us or most of us have pension funds and whatever who can only be on the buy side and all of them are down for the year big time because they don't know how to deal with this market. They can only buy, so everything they buy and hold has gone down, especially if they bought at the end of the year or the beginning of the year, everything's down. What you want to do is you want to go to cash 
Yeah. And every time it goes up, you can short sell if you want, but you want to be in cash. Basically, this year was a year to be in cash if you, for a long term position. You want to wait for it to, you know, or every time it gets to lower levels, buy and hold. And with the, you know, eventuality that it's going to go up. That's very different to this year. This was a this was the COVID drop, and this was a turnaround. This was where you want to be on the buy side, and the buy side, the, basically the whole of last year and the year before. But this year, sell side. Very simple once you know how to do it. Now, what I promised to do is to tell you, well, okay, you've seen this information. I've shared with you how to read charts and what we're looking at for the upcoming year and how to do it. Again, if you want to learn how to do it, I'm going to share with you how you can do that towards the end. But very important now, how do you prepare for 2023? Okay, what do you do now to prepare? So what you need to do is review your trading plan. What's your plan? If you don't have a plan, then you shouldn't be trading. Okay, so if you want, type in the chat area, how many of you don't have a plan? If you want, just say me. If you don't have a plan, if remember, if you don't, if you, if you, Fail to plan, as the saying goes, and you plan to fail, okay? You need to plan. That's the most important thing you do. Most of your trading is actually not taking trades. It's planning and reviewing. You want to plan a third if you want to split it into thirds. Plan a third of the time. Trade a third of the time. And review your trades so you can learn something and get better. So this is what you need to do. You need to review your trading plan for 2022. Did it work for you? Has it worked so far? Then you want to review your trading log. You need to log your trades. What worked, what didn't, what's working, what's good. What do I need to stop doing? What do I need to do more of? Maybe my plan's not working at all. Maybe what I was taught doesn't work. Maybe I'm not applying it right. Maybe I need help. Maybe my psychology is not in place, which is not surprising if you don't know what you're doing. Okay. Imagine sitting behind the wheel of a car going down the Autobahn in Germany at 150 miles an hour. And someone and your friends driving and they pass you the steering wheel and say drive and you've never driven in your life. You know a little bit, but you don't know what you should be doing. It's nerve wracking. But imagine if you do know how to drive, then you drive with confidence. If you don't know what you're doing as a trader, if you don't know how the mechanics of trading of how to, you know, what goes into a plan and how you execute a plan and how you actually prepare yourself to trade on a daily basis, you shouldn't be trading. You're going to fall flat on your face like the majority of the people do because they're not prepared and they've got no idea what they're doing. But say you do and you go review your log and you have a log, then what you need to do also is review your trading journal. How many of you keep a trading journal? I've got trading journals going back over 10, you know, 10 15 years, right from the beginning. I write some of the aha moments I had, some of the things that didn't work that became my trading plan going forward. The trades that didn't work sometimes became the best trades. The understandings that were that were gleaned, that were that were understood from failed trades, that helped me understand the markets better. Everyone needs to do that. You need to know where did you succeed. What do I still need to work on? Where am I now? What do I need to work on to get to where I need to get to? And then you need to start planning. This is what you should be doing right now. Don't wait to the beginning of the year to plan. Plan the year beginning before the year begins. Plan your days before. Plan your weeks before the week starts. Otherwise, you end up doing not getting anywhere. And year will go by and year will go by. And I've had many clients and traders that have been trading 20, 30 years with one year of experience and have never progressed. That's painful. So I take them under my wings and I help them become successful traders because sometimes you need guidance. Sometimes you need coaching. A coach enable what, what's the job of a coach to bring out the best in the person and enable them to achieve their, 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 their potential. And if someone has a strong enough desire to succeed as a trader, then go for it. But if you keep doing it wrong, you're going to keep getting knocked down and you'll keep getting get up and you'll keep getting knocked down exactly the same way. And you will never progress and you'll get through your whole life and you won't get to your goals because you don't know what you're doing and you've not tracked everything. What you need to do is track what you do and change and update and improve until you get it right, until you find what works for you. So this is what is very important. Now, this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to bring on Steve and Steve's in my trading program. He's in the trading room every single day. 
and he's just like you. He's a regular guy, and he's going to tell you where he is in his journey as a trader and what he got out of the training and what he gets out of the trading room on a regular basis. I'm going to take the screen show off. I'm going to bring you over to Steve. Hi, Steve. Hey, Simon. How are you? Great. It's great to have you. Yeah, great to be here. So where are you, where are you chiming in from, Steve? Albuquerque, New Mexico. There you go. <laughs> so welcome. So just tell everyone here what, what, where you are, where you were with your trading, what you've done and where you are and what you get out of the trading room and the training that you did. And where can you see you going with it? Sure. No problem. I saw early on there was uh, one person in the chat that said they were, I believe, from Los Angeles and they had a couple of years. And I was thinking to myself, man, do I wish I knew this when I started 50 years ago trading uh, with my dad, where we used a yardstick and graph paper and a pencil in order to make a chart. Uh, but today with with Simon and and I'll tell you everything Simon has told you guys uh, about predicting where these markets go and top and bottom and where they're going to turn. I'm in there every single day watching this. And I mean, to this day, I just shake my head at how accurate this man is. His teaching, uh, his course on how to read the trend in is number one priority. You have to know what that trend is doing. And like he says, if you knew this market was going down at the beginning of the year, you wouldn't have been buying stocks and watching the value go to nothing. But for me, being that I've been doing this for 50 years, and like Simon said, yeah, I've got one year of training 50 times over and over again. But now with his help, uh, my trading has improved. I'm reading the trend much better. I'm realizing, okay, Steve, sit on your hands. This stock is, I trade stocks. I don't trade the Forex. So you can apply this technique in any market. I trade options and it works the same as it would for Forex. And so I look at my charts and I say, oh, sit on your hands, Steve. It's not ready. We got to break this level and get confirmation that the trend has changed and it's ready to make its move. And when you see that, they move. They get out of that base and like Simon showed those big, huge moves, that's what you want to see. And when it hits that supply area, you take your profit or wait for the pullback and get in another uh, a portion of your buy. I mean, maybe you want to buy 100 shares. So you buy 50 at the first breakout, let it go up to the um, supply area, wait for the pullback. And when it changes that trend back up again, you get your next 50 shares if you wanted 100. I mean, it's just one way to do it. There's a lot of ways to do it. But Simon is a great teacher. He is truly amazing at what he does. And if you need Simon, he's available to you. He's not like you get in. And I've been in many stock trading programs where you pay thousands of dollars and next thing you know when the course is over your instructor i mean it's like where'd he go and you can't get a hold of anybody and they just take your money and go and it doesn't work with simon he's available for you he's live every single day they're all recorded you can review it over and over and all you're going to do is learn and become a better trader uh i have and I'm improving all the time. Have I learned everything? No. Um, there's a lot to uh, know what to do, when to do it. But with time, re repetition, going back over the live trading, the weekly trading, um, you you eventually pick it up. And that's where I am. I'm, I'm picking up more and more. I take notes. Simon throws out tidbits of information in the live trading every single day. So I got a notepad at my computer and I take notes almost every single day. There's a new little tidbit that Simon will throw out uh, and it's worth its weight in gold. So 
give this a chance. You won't regret it in the least. Um, when you see him predict this stuff live, it will literally blow your mind at how accurate this man is. Uh, and the okay, key is, Simon, how's that, Simon? Yeah. Beautiful. I mean, and the key, the key, the key is you'll be able to learn to do this yourself, not just to, I mean, you can take trade ideas that we point out. I have, uh, you know, we have traders in our trading room that were employed, were ex-employees of, of companies that, you know, like Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, you know, Morgan Stanley, um, which is very interesting. And now they're traders with us and uh, you can connect with them as well. We have a, uh, a live trading forum in Discord where we trade live also um, the the um, NASDAQ at the cash open. And there's a great group of traders in there that are getting better day by day, every single one of them. You know, most of them are, are, are at the stage of becoming consistently profitable. Some of them are already consistently profitable, but on their way there in a very short amount of time. So when you do it right, you can succeed. You know, if you try to become a tennis player, you know, or, or even a surgeon and you try and do it yourself. Well, you know, what do doctors do? They go and work in the hospital. My wife, uh, you know, unfortunately, um, unfortunately, unfortunately had to have uh, spinal surgery a couple of weeks ago, but fortunately had a great surgeon to do, you know, the surgery and to become a surgeon, a neurosurgeon takes a long time. There's six years. It's one of the longest residencies that you do six years. They don't wing it by themselves. They, actually follow and are mentored by surgeons that are ahead of them. And that's the only way that you can learn. It's a skill. You can't kind of figure it out. I mean, you can try and figure it out yourself, but why not learn from people that have been there and done it and people that have a proven track record of helping others get there too. Just because someone can trade also doesn't mean that they can help others achieve. So, Simon, there's a question you know, in the chat yes. from uh, T that says, Easy to figure out after the fact. Where are we going now? Question mark. Maybe you could help T. Oh, so uh, we just on where the market's going now. I think so, you did it, but uh, you know, maybe show it again. I mean, maybe we'll do that. So, okay. So, Steve, thank you very much. Um, yes, sir. Chime thank out. you for I'm having me. It's great. I'm going to share my screen again. Okay. And you can ask questions to Steve at the end. So let, let's just go over what I have to offer you at this stage. If for those of you who want to take the next step, um, where's my, uh, let's put this back. Let's go over here. I want to want to also share with you. Now, this is Jane. Jane came to me about maybe four years ago, five years ago, something like that. She came with almost no knowledge and went from beginner to consistent profits in three months. She runs our program called trading NQ at the cash open. She is now training other people. We have them in the room. Shakur's in the training program. Um, uh, and other people here are in her training program. She's a trader who succeeded very quickly. She didn't have, a, she, she never trained with anyone else beforehand. I was the first proper training she had as a trader. And she started the right way has the right attitude towards trading. Her attitude is if I start out to succeed, I'm going to succeed and nothing's going to stop me. That's her attitude. This is what she says about the training. All I can say to anyone who wants to consistently profit, just do it. That training turned my whole trading around. From that day on, my trading has been so consistent, it's really mind blowing. Once you understand the levels and can read the trend, you will beat the market every single day. However, the key is follow the pivot analysis, use the supply and demand levels and adapt it to your own trading style. Be very disciplined. Don't be greedy. Stop when you've made your daily profit and you will turn losing trades into winning consistently day in, day out. Simon's training can be adapted to any market. I mainly trade NQ and CL. I use my own strategy based on Simon's education. I have found the best thing was knowing what you are doing gives you confidence in your trades and the fear of losing was gone. Trading had become a lifestyle no longer a binary gamble or nervous hope job. Believe me, it's the best and only training to succeed with. You know, isn't it good to know that you, most people that have gone through our training, this is the last, the last training they're doing. Some of them have been through many other courses and spent thousands and thousands, some tens and sometimes even hundreds of thousands of dollars on other training over 20, 30 years and they haven't succeeded. And they come here, this is, they tell me, this is the last 
if this doesn't work, that's it, I'm giving up. And they go on to succeed. This is it. This is, I, I seem to be, you know, the, the last, uh, unfortunately, some people, if they would come to me first, they wouldn't have to go through. But sometimes the journey is what you need to go through to become the best version of yourself. It, you know, enjoy the process, enjoy the journey. Some people do it quicker than others. Everyone is different, but you have a supportive community here and you can, where other people will help you, will be there to support you on your way. So remember, remember, okay, um, what have I got? Miss this. The best investment you can make in life is in yourself. I think Warren Buffett said that. And remember, as Jim Rohn said, for things to change, you have to change. Okay? You need to make a change. Don't keep doing it the same way in 2023. Figure out where you are, where you want to go, where you've been, what works, what doesn't, and move forward and get yourself what you need to get you there. If you need a coach, get a coach. If it's not working by yourself, if it's not working in the trading rooms that you've tried so far, try something else. Commit to something, commit to, to, to succeeding and make it happen. Once you have a strong enough willpower, you'll find a way to make it happen. So for things to get better, you have to get better. But guess what? As we said earlier, you've got to let your knowledge lead to action, okay? Take something, learn something, and do something with it. Learn something every day and put it into action. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time. And time is very precious in life. If you learn something new, find a way to put it into action. Do something with it. Investigate it. Be curious. Does it work? What situations does it work? How does it work? How can I make it work? And, you know, discovering how to trade this way is amazing. This wasn't always the way I traded. The way I originally traded never worked anymore. It was didn't stand the test of time. This method of trading will, will work till the end of time because it's based on sound principles of the way any market moves. You will never need to, you know, you'll never be, it, it, technology changing will never change this because supply and demand Will, will never change. That's the way every market works. So now you've seen a simple and a powerful approach. The key is it's simple and it's super powerful. Sometimes the most obvious things you don't look at, you think it must be complicated. It's not. It's simple and it's powerful and you can read any market using this as we said at the beginning. So I'm gonna show you an offer that I put together to help you know exactly what you need to do to achieve mastery of reading the trend which is the first stage of understanding how to read a market professionally. And then you can come and also join us in our live trading room, join our community of traders and watch this in action every single day that we are trading, that we trade live. OK, we trade live Monday. We have a session Monday to Thursday. But we also have um, Jane that runs if she, when she's around. She's in Australia at the moment on Fridays as well. She runs and and sometimes every single day at the cash open at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. So we've got a session that runs primarily the Forex market. We look at the Forex futures and everything at the open, at the cash, at the open of those markets, which is 8 a.m. Eastern time. We usually start 7.30 a.m. Eastern time. And again, if you can't make it live, we have some traders that are in on the, uh, on the West Coast. So it's three hours earlier in California or whatever. And again, some of them get up early and some of them just watch the replay and that helps them trade for the next day. So this is where Towards the end of 2022, you want to start preparing. Start preparing now, not at the beginning of the year. This is why I'm doing this session. Usually do it in December, while we're doing it in November, give you more time to prepare for the upcoming year. Take it a step further. Learn how to read the trend. It's not what you think. You probably don't know how to do it in its entirety. Using pivot analysis. Now, what are the benefits? You want to trade in the direction of the trend. The trend is your friend until the bend in the end. You'll know when a trend begins and when a trend ends and make sure you're never fighting the trend. Make sure you're on the right side of the market and also develop a profitable trading strategy or enhance an existing one. We have some people that just use this to actually filter out all the trades that weren't working in their original strategy. So this is my offer to you. Join my How to Read the Trend training session and trading room and this is what you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn how to identify the current trend of the market to analyze the trend in multiple time frames, exactly when a trend begins and ends, and how this knowledge will dramatically affect your bottom line. And you'll also be able to watch us analyze and trade in the live markets in real time. And here's what people are saying. Francesco, 
When I first watched How to Read the Trend module, I must admit that I did not appreciate the power of pivots and their interrelationship with supply and demand. Honestly, I thought it was more of a good education module for beginners talking about what a candle is. And that, of course, I was smart enough to be able to read the trend already. Now, after having been in the, a few days in the live trading room and seeing some pretty uncanny results, something clicked. I decided to rewatch the first education module. Now I can see that it is really a lot more powerful than it first appeared to be, and it's quite deep. Sometimes we don't see what's right in front of our noses, as the old saying goes. I would say now that I know things about reading the trend that I did not have a clue about before doing your first module. The first thing I'm thinking is, why didn't I do this 25 years ago when I started? Johan. As a new trader, I jumped from one strategy to another, always looking for the magic source. I literally spent thousands of hours in various forums, blew up numerous accounts and bought tons of online courses. After a while, I realized that most of this material was produced by people like myself, wannabes without experience who want to survive while learning how to trade for real. What struck me when I came across TradeSmartForex.com and Simon's material was his true understanding of price action. He managed to condense all of this vague and ambiguous information to a few clear and fundamental set of rules and principles. I have to date probably seen his material a dozen times and I always discover new details that are key in my now profitable trading plan. When people often, when people ask me for advice, I often say that Simon and TradeSmartForest.com offers everything you need, nothing more, nothing less. I'm sure that his genuine interest in you as a trader will enable you to reach your goal far more quickly than most other alternatives. Tom, I wanted to say what you're teaching, how to read the trend training course is brilliant. Before that, I picked up bits and pieces from different traders, but it was never joined up. Your course brought it all together in a very structured and algorithmic way. No guessing needed. The facts jump off the chart. That's the key. You want to look at the charts and they speak to you. You understand the language. Matt, the trading room is very helpful in understanding how to go through the process. You'll see that every single day. I've been trading for 11 years and I've not seen anything like what you do. Love how simple it is. I mainly trade options with trades that last 30 to 60 days. I've been looking for something I could use to day trade for two years now. I want to round out what I am doing with another source of profits. I have not been able to find anything I could execute consistently. I'm just paper trading with your system. I've been doing it for a couple of weeks now and I've had far better results than anything I have ever tried. Marcus. Simon's probably one of the best coaches out there with a heartfelt passion for coaching and a real understanding of how the market works. He'll help you view everything in a new way. The way he teaches is also really good and he goes through it until you understand. I can honestly say that I've gotten more out of this training than I expected. So this is what you get. It's about an hour and a half. Again, you don't want to sit down and do a 50 hour course. You're not going to do that. You want to do an hour and a half, go over it, master it. And that's what you need. It's succinct. It's everything you need. Nothing more, nothing less. It's on demand. Watch it as many times as you want. Watch it until you get it. Put it into practice and then go back and watch it again. And you'll learn things that you didn't see the first time because you've got experience now. But experience that's moving you in the right direction. You also have personal access to me. And you get one month access to our live trading room. That's usually $497 a month. And you get access to our online trading community, which is 24-7. You can go and chat with anyone. You can chat with them type with them you can chat with them you can do video conference with them via our discord server and this is what our community looks like and again you know we're like it's live every single day 24 7. you can go and we've got different voice channels it's changed a bit since i took this picture this is the offer if you join now the regular price is 894 dollars the deadline's two days from now but you're going to get 497 dollars off and this is the price and this is probably the last time it's going to be this price we'll be probably putting we haven't put the price up in in eight years or something like that we're probably going to put it up in the new year so this is probably the last time you're going to get at this price okay so what i'm going to do is i'll sh i'm going to pop up the offer for those of you who are here live you'll see the offer pop up and probably the watching the replay may do the same i'm going to pop up the offer on the side and let's see if i can do that offer start offer publish bingo so you guys should see it pop up and for those of you who are watching the replay you can also go to this link again you won't be able to click on it here but it's tradesmartforex.com with the number four forward slash promo and this is what it's going to bring you to it's going to bring you to uh to here to the checkout okay and then you click on buy now or bring you to 
the checkout page over here. You go and fill it in. And remember, important, it's after the first month, there's a monthly fee of $497 if you want to continue in the live trading room, but you can cancel it immediately or put a reminder for yourself, you know, or you may want to just carry on in the live trading room because you see the value of it. Again, if you can make more than that in a month, which you should be able to do if you're trading with us live every day, then you'll see the value of it. Okay. So again, you have to have a bit of skin in the game for you to put, you know, to put your, uh, to get the most out of something. I, I found that paying for something means you're going to be more, you're going to get most out of it. You know, things you get for free, you don't, you don't take seriously enough and you don't get the, most of the time you don't get the results that you want. So again, you don't have to make that decision today. $397 a day, you get one month in the live trading room. And you also get how to read the trends. So you can go through the training. You can go and watch the recordings of the live training if you can't make it live and learn, write down what you learn every day. And we have a weekly preparation session as well, which is where we set up for the week. Once you do all that, you'll get emailed your login credentials, which you can always go to the main website and click on members here, which will bring you to, which will bring you to this, our membership portal. How to read the trend is in here and the trading room is in here. And just to show you the trading room, this is the inside of the trading room. These are our live sessions. You can click in here. There's a link and a schedule. These are the recordings. And how to read the trend is session one of this training. You don't get access to everything else. You just get access to session one for now, which is where you learn how to read the trend. That is basically it. So this is the offer. How to read the trend is $397. One month in the live trading room is $497. That's a total of $894 today. You pay $397. This is the link. Go get it. Go join. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the chat and we'll stay on and we'll ask, answer questions. Okay. For those of you who are joining, let me just check. If you have joined them, welcome. It's great to have you. Let's just check. Okay, yeah. So if you've joined now, I look forward to seeing you live in our trading room tomorrow. And then you can actually, let me show you, you can actually go and watch. Uh, let's get back here. You can go to the trading room and go to today's session. And if you see, this is today's session, November 9th, go watch it and you'll see if we actually talk about the trade. Let's see if I can actually get, let's see if I can actually find it. So show you. Dolly Yen, here, this is a trade. As we talked about, we got to the dollar yen and this was it. And we said target here and you can see maybe let's go back. It was a bit earlier here. We were pointing it out as it was as it set up here. And we say, look, out, and look where I'm pointing to here. This is our first target. Area. We said around 30. We said get in here. That's the first target area. And you see towards and you'll see towards. That's it. There was there's whoops. Where is it? We took a picture of it. <laughs> yeah. And you see it playing out. This was as it's happening. So again, I'm just showing you that now, but you can go and watch. You can go and watch it as well. Okay. And uh, that's the offer. Let's see if we've got any questions. Yeah. And this is, by the way, this is the session that Jane did to start her whole training, to start her training to where she is now. And, and again, I believe she's probably one of the best traders you will ever come across. And she did it very quickly. She's been trading, you know, now successfully for over four years, maybe even close to five years. I can't remember exactly, but definitely over four years. And she's training other people who are now also trading successfully. So that's a separate training. Tra her focus is on the NQ and all the nuances of that market at the cash open. So, yeah, we can open up for questions now. And remember, um, you can email me here if you have any questions. And before we finish, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone for attending here. I have a YouTube channel which you can join. You can get it from my website as well. And remember, this is a link to go and join. And again, if this resonates with you, if you want a new beginning or you want to end the year, I would advise, I would say the best thing to do is definitely start planning 2023 right now. This is what I'm doing. Um, with uh, people, you know, again, I have a team of people that we work together and uh, we're going to start planning what we're doing next year already. Now, this presentation was planned over a year ago. 
over a year ago. I didn't know what I was going to say today until today, yeah? But the actual timing and when we're going to do it was planned a year ago. So you plan the year before the year, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to sit down. I'm going to sit down with my team probably next week, and we're going to plan next year what we're going to do, you know, and when we're going to do it, that sort of thing. So, you know, this is, this is the time now for action. And again, you know, what's the best case scenario here? You do something and it helps you be, achieve your goals. What's the worst case scenario? What's the risk? $397 and your time. And time's way more precious than money because time never comes back. So you want to make sure that you spend your time in the right way. And I appreciate every single one of you for being here with me today. And if you're watching the replay, for watching that, for getting to this place and spending your time. And I hope this was time well spent for you because that's more valuable than anything else we have in life is the time and how we choose to spend our time. So I am appreciative that you spent your time with me. And I hope that this will help you move forward and get you to where you need to get to with your trading. So thank you very much, everyone. And I'll just have a look and see if we have any uh, questions still. Yeah. Uh, so the trading room. So again, we have, let me just show you the Discord server. Let me see if I can pull it up. Um, I'll just show you. a lot of the action happens in happens in here in the NQ at the open. So you can see we have, you know, Shaka who's here now, we have, you know, every day people are posting ahead of time and what to look at and levels and how to trade it and look at, you know, that sort of thing every day. And um, that's Jane in Australia. <laughs> um, and you can see, you know, she posts a lot of inf information here of what to do in the market what's the scenario, how to trade it. And you can come and you can get access to this immediately as well. This is one of our premium channels, but if you're in the program, you can get access to this. And you can also, we have, we had, you know, every single Sunday, a live session for one or two hours with Jane going over what happened to the week, practicing trading together, practicing replays of the market and that sort of thing and, and learning as a group. So again, you can join that. It's not just, you're not just by yourself, okay? So let's see if we have any questions. Knut, you want you already have the course, but you'd like to join the trading room? Yeah, sure. Just send me an email. I'll, I'll uh, send you a link to join. You don't need to go via this route. Um, you can also, if you want to join just the trading room, some people want them. Just you can find on my website a link. Uh, let me see if I can show you. If we go to my website, you can go to services and live trading room. You can go here if you want just the trading room to check it out. All right, it's a bit slow. Let's see. Then you can click on here and it will give you the different options of the live trading room. So you can actually, there's different plans. So you may find a better pricing plan as well. And everything starts with a two-week trial. If you want, if you don't want a two week trial and you want to just come in on the, you know, month to month basis, then just send me an email. Yeah. So the, the, if you want to join the trading room, then again, you can, you can get it here and you can see the schedule, schedule here. And these are the benefits and you can see, oh, look, Jane wrote, this was before she was, had her own courses, what she thought of the trading room. And again, this, this helped her change her life. So that's basically it. So I want to say a huge thank you. Thank you, Steve, for joining us today. And for those of you who have joined, I look forward to welcoming you tomorrow in the trading room. If you can't make it live, then watch the replays and you'll gain a tremendous amount from that as well. And go over the training. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can ask in the, in the uh, you can ask me personally or you can ask in the trading room if you get there live or you can just send me an email. That's fine. Okay. Thanks a lot, everyone. And Really have a great rest of 2022 and a most successful 2023. And again, I really hope that what you want for yourselves, you achieve and, you know, go for it. Aim high. Don't aim low. Aim high and go for it and believe in yourself and make it happen. Thanks a lot, everyone.